be affected by some parts of that uh, 2010 antivirus since it does mess with the malware bytes program. So I'm just going to run it again um, after the computer restarts this time and then that's just to make sure that everything's going. Okay, you can see it's just now starting back up. Um, it took about 20 minutes for it to shut down, which is kind of why I'm just getting back to the camera. Um, hopefully it starts up a little bit quicker. So we'll see. It's already sounding good. Uh, I don't hear the little um, system alert beep or whatever you want to call it that I heard when the antivirus um, 2010 was present. So, uh, that doesn't sound good. We'll have to see. I'm doing all this live, that's why, you know, I'm kind of stumbling up right now. Because I have not done this beforehand. This is just all live directly uploaded to my camera. Haven't, um, you know, done this before or anything. But uh, it is looking good. Before I couldn't see my um, antivirus. What is this? Malware bytes. Okay, I want to go ahead and run that. Windows cannot find love. Okay. And I'm pretty sure this is just the malware bytes doing a follow up, um, you know, just to make sure that it's gotten rid of all those uh, viruses that needed the system to be restarted. So um, hopefully it's doing that correctly. Okay, everything is back to normal now. I did the second scan, and basically everything is back to normal now. The only thing that I can say that was bad was that. Um, I did not get my skyscraper um, wallpapered background back again. Um, basically, the little active desktop um, sign was still there, which didn't work when I clicked it. So I just went ahead and changed the wallpaper to a Windows default wallpaper. And also, um, there was one little thing left uh, dealing with the anti Internet Antivirus 2010. And that was just a little desktop shortcut that was not working at all I went ahead and clicked it to make sure it was not working um, and basically it said it wasn't in the uh, computer anymore so basically all I had to do was delete that shortcut and that's the last I've seen of the internet antivirus 2010 now just to be on the safe side I'm gonna go ahead and run malware bytes once again just to make sure everything is clear and I'm also gonna update and run my normal Norton antivirus. Um, you know, I'm not too sure how this virus got on this computer. Like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, this was loaned out and this is the condition I got it back in. But one thing that I did change that I normally don't do is I took the password off this computer uh, so I wouldn't have to worry about giving out my password for all my other computers. And that might have been a factor. So uh, if you've recently, you know, disabled your password on your computer and this happens, that could be a factor. Well, I hope that video helped you guys out. Um, you know, like I said, it's a little rough because I just did it directly. I didn't do it beforehand. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.